The skies above America just changed forever. While the world was watching, something extraordinary happened on March 21, 2025. President Donald Trump stood in the Oval Office and revealed what many are calling the most advanced weapon ever created by human hands. The F-47 fighter jet, a machine so revolutionary, so powerful, that our enemies will never see it coming. For five years, this aircraft has been flying in complete secrecy. An experimental version of the plane has secretly been flying for almost five years. Test pilots have been pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Boeing has invested billions in technology that sounds like science fiction. And now, the veil of secrecy has been lifted. Welcome to Jet Insight, where we uncover the truth behind America's most classified military programs. This isn't just another fighter jet. The F-47 represents something much bigger. It's America's answer to rising threats from China and Russia. It's our guarantee that American airmen will dominate the skies for generations to come. And the capabilities we're about to reveal will leave you speechless. The Chinese have been showing off their new J-36 fighter, thinking they could challenge American air superiority. Russia claims they're developing sixth generation aircraft, but what they don't know is that America has been quietly preparing the ultimate response. The F-47 doesn't just match these threats, it obliterates them. If you're proud of American military innovation and want to see our forces stay ahead of every enemy, type proud in the comments below. Let us know you support our brave men and women in uniform. The secret development that shocked the world. Let me take you back to 2014 when this incredible journey began. While most Americans were going about their daily lives, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, known as DARPA, launched something called the Aerospace Innovation Initiative. This wasn't just another research project. This was America's response to a growing realization that our enemies were catching up. Frank Kendall, who was then Under Secretary of Defense, saw what was coming. He understood that China and Russia weren't standing still. They were developing new technologies, new weapons, new ways to challenge American dominance. So he made a decision that would change everything. He started the ball rolling on what would become the most advanced fighter jet program in human history. But here's where it gets interesting. This wasn't done in the open. For years, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were secretly building experimental aircraft. These weren't just models or prototypes. These were real flying machines that took to the skies in 2019 and 2022. They logged hundreds of flight hours, testing technologies that our enemies can only dream of. Think about that for a moment. While China was bragging about their new fighters, while Russia was making threats, American engineers and test pilots were already flying the future. The X-planes that led to the F-47 were proving that American innovation is still light years ahead of anything our competitors can produce. The competition that decided America's future. The competition for this contract was fierce. Three of America's greatest aerospace companies were in the running. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman all wanted to build the next generation of American air power. But this wasn't just about business. This was about national security. Lockheed Martin had built the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning. They had experience with stealth technology and advanced fighters. Northrop Grumman had created the revolutionary B-21 Raider bomber. They understood what it takes to build aircraft that can penetrate enemy defenses. Boeing brought their own impressive legacy. From the P-51 Mustang that helped win World War II to the modern F-15 Eagle that has never lost in air-to-air -air combat. But something unexpected happened in 2023. Northrop Grumman announced they were withdrawing from the competition. They decided to focus on other opportunities, leaving Boeing and Lockheed Martin to fight it out for the contract of the century. The stakes couldn't have been higher. This wasn't just about building an airplane. This was about deciding who would shape American air power for the next 50 years. The winner would receive more than $20 billion just to get started, with hundreds of billions more to follow over the program's lifetime. And then came the pause that had everyone worried. In May 2024, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall hit the brakes on the entire program. Cost estimates had skyrocketed. Some projections showed each F-47 could cost three times as much as an F-35, potentially reaching $300 million per aircraft. Critics started asking hard questions. Was this the right approach? 
Could America afford such an expensive fighter? Were we sure this was what our Air Force needed to face future threats? The decision that changed everything. But here's what those critics didn't understand. The threats America faces today are unlike anything we've ever seen before. China has been developing advanced air defense systems specifically designed to shoot down American aircraft. Their new J-20 fighters are already in service, and intelligence reports suggest their J-36 sixth-generation fighter is closer to reality than anyone wanted to admit. Russia, despite their struggles in Ukraine, continues to develop new technologies. Their S-400 and S-500 air defense systems pose real threats to American aircraft. Their claims about sixth-generation fighters might be exaggerated, but we can't afford to underestimate them. So when Donald Trump returned to the presidency in January 2025, one of his first major decisions was about the F-47 program. The internal Air Force study had concluded that there was no viable alternative to the next-generation air dominance program. Major General Joseph Kunkel, the director of Air Force Force Design, said it bluntly, We tried a whole bunch of different options, and there was no more viable option than NGAD to achieve air superiority in this highly contested environment. General Kenneth Wilsbach added that the United States would need crude sixth-generation aircraft to counter Chinese sixth-generation aircraft. The message was clear. America couldn't afford to fall behind. On March 21, 2025, President Trump made the announcement that sent shockwaves around the world. Boeing had won the contract. The Air Force is going to be awarding the contract for the next generation air dominance platform to Boeing. The F-47 program was moving forward. America's sixth generation fighter was becoming reality. Technology that defies belief. Now let's talk about what makes the F-47 so revolutionary. This isn't just an improved version of existing fighters. This is a completely new category of aircraft that redefines what air superiority means. First, let's discuss stealth. You might think the F-22 and F-35 are stealthy, and they are. But the F-47 takes stealth to levels that were unimaginable just a few years ago. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin described it as having significantly longer range, more advanced stealth, than any fifth-generation fighter. The stealth technology in the F-47 isn't just about radar and visibility. It's about being invisible across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. That means enemy sensors, whether they use radar, infrared, or other detection methods, will struggle to find this aircraft. It's like America's pilots will be flying ghosts that can strike without warning. But stealth is just the beginning. The F-47 has a combat radius of more than 1,000 nautical miles. That's almost double the range of the F-22 Raptor. What does this mean in practical terms? It means American pilots can strike targets deep inside enemy territory and return safely to base. It means our aircraft can operate from bases far from the front lines, making them harder for enemies to attack. The speed capabilities are equally impressive. The F-47 can fly faster than Mach 2, giving it the ability to outrun most threats and engage targets before enemies know what hit them. The Drone Revolution Here's where the F-47 becomes truly revolutionary. This isn't just a fighter jet. It's the quarterback of an entire aerial team. Each F-47 will control multiple artificial intelligence-enabled drones called collaborative combat aircraft. Picture this scenario. An F-47 approaches enemy territory with four drone wingmen. The pilot doesn't have to control each drone individually. The aircraft's artificial intelligence manages the entire formation, coordinating attacks, sharing sensor data, and making split-second decisions that would be impossible for human pilots alone. These drones aren't just followers. They're force multipliers. They can carry additional weapons, extend the range of sensors, and even serve as decoys to confuse enemy defenses. If an enemy tries to shoot down the formation, they might hit a drone instead of the manned aircraft, protecting our pilots while still accomplishing the mission. The Air Force plans to field about 200 F-47S alongside 1,000 of these advanced drones. That means America will have the equivalent of 1,200 advanced fighters, all networked together and working as a single, coordinated force. Why Boeing won you? Might be wondering why Boeing won this competition over Lockheed Martin, especially given Lockheed's recent success with the F-22 and F-35 programs. The answer reveals something important about American defense innovation. 
Frank Kendall, the former Air Force Secretary, provided some insight into this decision. He mentioned that the incentives might have been stronger for Boeing because, in some ways, they needed to win this one more than Lockheed did. Boeing had been largely shut out of the fighter business for decades, with their last major fighter contract being inherited from McDonnell Douglas after the 1997 merger. But there's more to it than just business considerations. Boeing made massive investments in their defense division, particularly their St. Louis facility, where the F-47 will be built. They've spent billions preparing for this moment, upgrading their manufacturing capabilities and developing new technologies. Boeing's approach also emphasized what the Air Force calls built-to-adapt design. This means the F-47 won't be locked into a single configuration. As threats evolve and new technologies become available, the aircraft can be updated and modified without requiring entirely new designs. This is crucial because the F-47 program envisions a different approach to fighter development. Instead of building aircraft that serve for 40 or 50 years like the F-16 and F-15, the Air Force wants to buy new fighters approximately every 8 years and replace them every 16 years. This approach keeps American technology ahead of rapidly evolving threats. Before we continue with the incredible capabilities of the F-47, I want to mention something special. If you're a military veteran, active service member, or someone who deeply appreciates our armed forces, we have a growing community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for military excellence. You can find more information in our description below. The Global Response The announcement of the F-47 program sent clear messages to both allies and adversaries around the world. Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth said the F-47 sends a very direct, clear message to our allies that we're not going anywhere, and to our enemies that we can and will be able to project power around the globe unimpeded for generations to come. China's response was predictable. Just months before the F-47 announcement, videos began circulating on social media showing what appeared to be test flights of China's J-36 6th-generation fighter. These videos were clearly intended to demonstrate that China was keeping pace with American developments. But here's what the Chinese don't want to admit. Their J-36, while impressive looking, lacks the integration in advanced systems that make the F-47 so formidable. Chinese aircraft development still relies heavily on technology stolen or copied from other nations. The F-47 represents pure American innovation, built from the ground up with technologies that simply don't exist anywhere else. Russia has made similar claims about their own sixth-generation fighter programs, but their struggles in Ukraine have revealed the gap between Russian claims and Russian capabilities. While they talk about advanced fighters, they're struggling to maintain their existing aircraft fleet. The Industrial Impact The F-47 program represents more than just military advancement. It's a massive boost to American manufacturing and technological leadership. Boeing's St. Louis facility, where the F-47 will be built, has received over $1.8 billion in expansion investments. This project is creating hundreds of high-paying jobs and revitalizing American aerospace manufacturing. The program also strengthens the American defense industrial base in a crucial way. For too long, Lockheed Martin has dominated fighter aircraft production. The F-47 contract ensures that America maintains multiple sources for advanced military aircraft promoting competition and innovation. This competition between aerospace giants drives technological advancement. When companies compete for major contracts, they push the boundaries of what's possible. The result is better aircraft, lower costs, and faster innovation cycles. Addressing the critics. Not everyone is enthusiastic about the F-47 program. Critics point to the enormous costs involved and question whether such expensive aircraft are the right approach for future conflicts. Some argue that large numbers of less expensive aircraft might be more effective than small numbers of extremely advanced fighters. These concerns deserve serious consideration. The F-47 will indeed be expensive, with unit costs potentially reaching two to three hundred million dollars per aircraft. That's a significant investment in any single weapon system. But the critics miss several important points. First, the F-47 isn't just a single aircraft. It's the center of an entire system that includes drones, sensors, and network capabilities. When you consider the total capability provided, the cost per unit of combat power becomes much more reasonable. Second, the alternative to building the F-47 isn't building more of existing aircraft. The F-22 production line was shut down years ago, 
and restarting it would be enormously expensive. The F-35, while capable, wasn't designed for the air superiority mission that the F-47 will perform. Third, the threats America faces require this level of technological advancement. Chinese and Russian air defenses are specifically designed to counter existing American aircraft. The F-47's advanced capabilities aren't luxuries. They're necessities for maintaining American air superiority. Looking toward the future. The F-47 program timeline is aggressive, but achievable. Boeing plans to conduct the first flight by the end of President Trump's term in early 2029. Full operational capability is expected in the early 2030s, when the aircraft will begin replacing the aging F-22 Raptor fleet. But the F-47 might not be the end of the story. Former Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall suggested that the F-47 could be increment one inch of a family of next-generation air dominance aircraft designs. This approach allows for continuous improvement and adaptation as new threats emerge. The Air Force also continues to invest heavily in the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program that will provide the F-47's drone wingmen. These drones are being developed by companies like General Atomics and Anduril, representing a new generation of autonomous weapon systems. Meanwhile, the Navy is still deciding whether to proceed with their own F-AXX sixth-generation fighter program. The challenges of carrier-based operations make naval fighters more complex and expensive than their Air Force counterparts. Budget constraints and questions about the future viability of aircraft carriers in an age of long-range missiles add uncertainty to the Navy's plans. The Strategic Implications The F-47 program represents more than just technological advancement. It's a statement about American priorities and American capabilities. By committing to this expensive and challenging program, America is declaring that it will not cede air superiority to any potential adversary. This has important implications for global stability. American air superiority has been a cornerstone of international security for decades. It allows America to project power globally, protect allies, and deter potential aggressors. The F-47 ensures that this capability continues into the future. The program also demonstrates American technological leadership in an era when some question whether America can still out-innovate its competitors. The F-47's advanced capabilities show that American industry and American ingenuity remain unmatched when properly focused and funded. For America's allies, the F-47 program provides reassurance that America remains committed to maintaining the military capabilities necessary to uphold international security. President Trump has indicated that modified versions of the F-47 could eventually be sold to allies though these export versions would be toned down compared to the aircraft flown by American forces. Outro. The F-47 fighter jet represents everything that makes America's military the finest fighting force in the world. It combines cutting-edge technology with American ingenuity, experienced pilots with revolutionary capabilities, and strategic vision with tactical excellence. When the first F-47 takes to the skies, it will carry with it the hopes and dreams of every American who believes in peace through strength. It will demonstrate to our allies that America stands ready to defend freedom wherever it's threatened. And it will send a clear message to our enemies that American air superiority is not negotiable. The men and women who will fly these aircraft deserve our respect and admiration. They volunteer to put their lives on the line to protect our freedoms and our way of life. The F-47 gives them the tools they need to complete their missions and return home safely to their families. This is more than just a fighter jet. This is America's promise to the world that we will never surrender the skies, never yield to aggression, and never stop pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The age of sixth generation warfare is here, and America is leading the way. If you enjoyed learning about America's incredible military innovation, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more insights into the technologies keeping our nation safe. Your support helps us continue bringing you the stories behind America's military excellence. The F-47 is just the beginning. The future of American air power has never looked brighter.